hello guys what's up and welcome to today's episode on this channel so guys in this video i'll be showing you how to catch spikes on crash and broom index i'll be showing you how to catch spikes on crash and boom index this should be one of the best videos you've ever seen on youtube so i'll make sure you be able to catch spikes correctly after watching this video so make sure you watch this video to the very end and don't skip any part because if you skip any part you will miss information entailed in this video this video is a very very sensitive one so you have to put your full attention in this video so guys first of all you have to let me go to the chat so i can show you what i'm talking about and this strategy works on m1 only let me delete everything here it works on m1 on the one minute time frame only so guys the first indicator we are going to be adding to this chart is the rsi the relative strength index so as you can see the period is 14 applied to close levels changes changes to level 10 and level 90 the first one should be buy and the second should be sell I can make these two pixels they make the color to be black make the color to be black then this should be one pixel and make this the color of your background then let me make my white since that's the color of my background okay make sure you follow these parameters correctly then you click on done so as you can see we added the first indicator already then the second indicator we are going to be adding should be in the indicator window one that's where you want to add the indicator to then that will be the ichimoku kinkoyo then you can see the second sen is 9 kijun sen is 26 second span b 52 leave it like this then second sen should be should be black now it should be black let me explain why it should be black depending on your background if you have a white background your second sign should be black but if you have a black background it should be white i have a white background so my second sign is black so make the rest one pixels one pixel one pixel then you make them the color of your background I have a white background so i'm making them white because you don't need this this ones you need you need only the taken send and that's the three pixel then click on done so as you can see we added the first indicator already or the second rather then the next one should be to the indicator window one also that's where we are adding all our indicators to we are not adding anything to the main chart then that should be a moving average moving average period 5 moving average period 5 the shift is 0 method is simple apply to close then you can leave this make these two pixels then click on done so as you can see then the next indicator again we are going to be adding it to the indicator window 1 like I said, we are not working with the main chart. We are working with the indicator window. That's where our entry and exit signal would be. Then you add the next one again. That should be moving average period. Moving average period 2. Shift is 0. Method is exponential. Then you apply to close. Then you change the color of this. You can make this red. Then you click on done. You can see how simple it is, right? Make that red, then you click on done. Then the last one 
we are going to be adding is moving average period 50 that's the last one the method is also exponential applied to close you can make this let's make this blue yes let's make this blue then you click on done so guys as you can see we are done with adding all the indicators already so since i said we are cutting only spikes we are cutting only spikes only spikes nothing more we are cutting only spikes with this strategy so what i want you to focus on is the indicators let me let me go back in time so i can show you this correctly then you are working with the last zoom level this is the first zoom level this is the second now you are working with the last you have to zoom out completely like this to the last level so you can see the candlestick correctly so when is best to catch spike or when do you know when a spike is approaching so this is what i'm teaching you right now this is what i'm about to teach you right now rather i'm teaching you this right now just make sure you you pay attention as you can see this is showing that a spike is about to occur so when is the best time to enter for a spike as you can see a spike happened already but we don't want that because it has not met it has not met our criteria yet it has not met our criteria yet our criteria is for all the lines to meet at the point all the lines to meet at the point like this all the lines to meet at the point like this then you can see this all the lines have met at this side all the lines have met at this side they converge at that side then if you expect the spike then boom you can see the spike we can see the spike so this was your entry this was your entry then this should be your exit immediately the spike occur you take your exit so you can see you caught like 30 pips already like that you caught like 30 pips already like that very very simple strategy just for catching spikes i can't advise you to trade the trend with this just for catching spikes let me show you one more and make sure the 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 market meets you can see this it did not touch so you are not interested in catching that spike but make sure it meets all your criteria that's what you you are, you are going in for it should meet all your criteria before a spike you can see this is spiked before the old the, 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 the old point or the old moving average or the old lines rather before the old lines touched so you are not interested in catching that spike just wait for your spike wait for your spike you can see this again a spike is about to occur right here then you stack your position or you enter your position for the spike then boom you can see the spike like i said it's best to leave immediately it spikes that's the best time to leave because you are catching you've got like let's say 15 pips on this it might be little yes but that's enough don't be greedy the market does not owe you anything don't be greedy You've caught the spike already, leave the market. You can see it spiked again. But I won't advise you to wait for the next spike because you might keep on waiting and the spike does not come. So immediately it spikes, leave the market, let the market rest. Then you wait for your setup again. Wait for your criteria to be met. Wait for it again. As you can see, okay, that did not meet. It spiked already before our criteria was met. So you have to wait wait patiently you can see this clearly right here again they all converge at this side 
at this side they all converge at that side then it spiked this was very very close one then it spiked then you leave the market immediately it spiked that's the best time to leave the market immediately it spikes leave the market the market does not owe you anything don't stay waiting for another spike again it might spike though but it might not spike so it's best you catch the first spike and you leave let me show you one more on a boom index before i end this video let me show you one more on the boom index before i end this video so as you can see right now a spike is about to happen i don't think i can wait for it but i can guarantee that a spike is about to happen right now on boom 1000 a spike is about to occur right now so let me try to start the position okay this is where i enter this street assuming i can guarantee you a spike is about to happen i don't think i'll wait for the spike though because i don't want this video to be too long but a spike is about to happen right now a spike is about to happen right now so let me show you let me back test some again like you can see right here again you can see this immediately it touched immediately it touched a spike would happen a spike would occur for sure you can see it immediately it spikes leave the market the market does not owe you i keep saying this immediately it spikes like that leave the market you've got another 50 50 pips plus again just on the spike let me check if that has spiked already it has not spiked but i don't want to elongate this video waiting for the spike i don't want to elongate the video waiting for the spike i don't want to elongate the video waiting for the spike but i guess if you watch this video you can go back and check for yourself it is if it's spiked if it's spiked so guys one more last thing i need to do for me is check the links in the description below you would find useful links right there there's a link to my telegram channel there and a link to my instagram also make sure you participate on those links because on my telegram channel i give out free forex books and free ebooks and i organize polls to know what is bothering you at times and you can text me right there if you have any problem regarding my videos or anything forex i would gladly reply you so guys i would like to end the video right here stay safe happy winning stay blessed peace